Size exclusion chromatography. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Size exclusion chromatography can be shortened as SEC and is also known as gel filtration chromatography. It is used for protein purification and separates molecules based on their size by filtration through a gel. This gel consists of spherical beads made up of pores of specific size distribution. The separation depends on which molecules can enter these pores in the beads. Small molecules will go through these pores and their flow through the column will therefore be slowed down. Large molecules cannot enter at all and are therefore able to move at a quicker pace through the column since they don't get distracted by these beads that they can get into. To me at least, this was at first a bit counterintuitive, but this happens because of how these beads are constructed. When the molecule enters them, it forces it to subsequently take a slower route. This is similar to when you enter a maze, it will slow you down because you can no longer take the straight path out of it, even if you know the way to go. To further visualize this, imagine an ant and a beetle traveling through grass. Due to their size, the ant will need to travel around in the grass, making their path longer, while the beetle, it can just move through the grass by pushing it to the side. Subsequently, molecules are separated based on their size and are eluted in order of decreasing molecular weight. In Huga Buga, big first, small last. The workflow of size exclusion chromatography can be divided into four main steps. First, the sample is inserted into the column. Second, all proteins present in the sample collect at the top. Third, with time, larger proteins move quicker through the column, while smaller proteins keep getting stuck inside the gel beads, slowing them down. Fourth, and finally, the largest protein will exit first, followed by the second largest, and so on and so forth. Then as they exit, it is simply a matter of collecting each protein as they exit the column. So as I already mentioned, size exclusion chromatography is used in protein purification, often as a second step, utilized after affinity chromatography in order to further purify the protein. By the way, if you want to check out my video on affinity chromatography, it is linked after this one. Okay, getting back to the topic. This reason is why size exclusion chromatography is so useful. By separating proteins based on size, it can be utilized for desalting. This simply means that we can remove salt and other small molecules from the sample. In addition, it can also be used for fractionation, again, since molecules of varying weights are separated within the gel matrix. But there you have it. Now on the screen you can see my video on affinity chromatography, which is often used as the first step in protein purification. So please help me and yourself out by checking that out next. Also, if you found this helpful and know someone else who could benefit by an easy tutorial, please send it their way and help me help them in one fell swoop. Until next time.